Good morning, you guys. I'm just checking in. I know that a lot of you are like me and that food is probably one of the hardest things in this whole challenge. It's just, you know, I like junky food. I like things to be quick. I like things to be easy and I want to move on with my day. Some people really like cooking, but they like to make all the, all the yummy, tasty stuff that's not really that good for us. So whether you're, whatever end of the spectrum you're on, food is still one of the harder things to work with. So I wanted to give a couple tips. First of all, healthy eating is not always going to be more expensive. It doesn't have to be more expensive. And I'm gonna teach you how to deal with that. You know, if you get your prepackaged stuff, if you're somebody who need who refuses to get in the kitchen for any time, yes, it's going to be more expensive. But you can change that and it doesn't even have to take that much of your time. It has to take one day, maybe an hour or two, and you can just get the whole week busted out and move on with your life, which is something that I have to do. I have to do it because I need a plan and I have to do it because I, I hate cooking. I hate spending the time in there. It makes me crazy. So things you can do, you can buy in bulk, you can get a Costco or BJ's or Sam's Club membership and buy in bulk if you can. In my case, I was living paycheck to paycheck and I couldn't for a while and that's changing, but buying in bulk tends to save you a lot of money. Do some research, do some research. Um, I know in town here, the Wegmans actually has an app that tells you how expensive everything is at the store and you can, you know, select your grocery list and go in and just, it'll tell you exactly where to go and you can go pick the things up, put it in your cart and go to the checkout. Do not get anything that is off your list. You will screw yourself over financially and <laughs> when you're eating. You do not need prepackaged stuff. Get you know, instead of cheese sticks, get a block of cheese. Instead of indi individually packaged, yo packaged yogurts, get the big thing of yogurt and, you know, portion it out. You can do this. Shop fresh. Go for your fresh produce. Again, I know that prepackaged stuff is going to, feels like it's going to take less time. But you will, <laughs> you just won't get your results that way besides all the other, you know, junk that they added in there. It's it's not good for you. And the fresh stuff is going to take up a couple hours of your time on Sunday and you're going to be eating real food and your body's going to thank you for it. Never mind just, you know, never mind losing weight. It's going to thank you for, you know, how it feels. Your skin's going to clear up. Your your energy is going to come back. It is worth it to take that time just on Sundays or, you know, whatever day of the week it is that you have to contribute to that and just focus on that. So these are some serious tips. I mean, I know that they're not, they're not rocket science, but they're things that we forget. We make it out to be expensive and hard and time consuming and it's not gonna taste good. That's a lie. It does taste good. I've told myself that for years. I have been that person. I want to eat junky food because that's what tastes good. It does, but it all tastes like salt anyway. And if you're going to do that, then just pour a bunch of salt on what you're making. At least you'll be, you know, halfway there. But it rewriting that track in your mind is way more important than how much supposedly your meals are going to cost. You have to take that second to change your state of mind about how this doesn't taste good, how I don't like vegetables, that was my track, how I don't have time, Whatever you tell yourself, whatever you tell yourself is true. So write out your schedule, write out every half an hour of your day on a piece of paper, do it. Write it down and find those pockets of time that you have been forgetting about. Because when I did that, I found that I had a lot of downtime that I was just kind of throwing away. So now I'm more careful. I don't want to lose time with my kids. That's why I work from home. So I get up at three in the morning. Sometimes that means I get four hours of sleep. A lot of the times that means I get four hours of sleep. But I wanna get my business done in the morning so that I can spend the rest of the day with my kids and not feel guilty about it. I have done everything that I can on both sides. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. But that is my goal and I keep shooting for it and I grade myself on how well I have done. 
both in my business, both in my and in my health, in my, you know, dividing my time with my kids. I make sure that the things that are the most important to me are scheduled into my day in some fashion. So you guys can do this. You can schedule some time on one day a week to get all of your meals busted out so you don't have to think about it again, so you don't have to worry about coming home from work and cooking dinner. Because it's already done. It was in the crock pot last night. You know, any of those things. You will be fine if you can remember and realize that this is not complicated. It doesn't have to be complicated. You just have to take a little bit of forethought and stop letting life happen to you. You can get this done. I promise. So post below what you are going to change and how you are going to make eating healthy easier for you. I'm looking forward to hearing it because we all need to talk about this. See you guys later.